students, what's up? Welcome back. It's been a one week since the 2020 exam. And I, I want to say, like, I, I think it went okay. You guys can tell me down in the comments below. I want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about the actual questions themselves, what's going to be happening moving forward, and that the dreaded makeup that I know some of you have to retake. First, that elephant in the room, the makeup. We heard from Physics C and other things that there were going to be some glitches and some things that were, frankly, out of your control. And if you were a part of the like 10% or so that has to make up the exam on June 2nd, <laughs> it, that sucks. I, I, I don't know what to tell you other than that sucks, but it's only one week more, all right? So it's not that big of a deal. We'll take it next week. We'll dominate it. You can still watch some videos, still ask me some questions. I'm not going anywhere. You can still help me. And, and maybe it's a little bit of an advantage because you got to see some stuff, kind of got a feel, and also you got to hear from everybody else's response. So if you're one of those people that has to take it on June 2nd, Sorry, that, that sucks, but it is what it is, man. Life sucks sometimes. As far as the actual exam questions that everyone that did submit has gotten, I'm going to release solutions of those. They are still secure, I think until after they give this makeup exam, but I have seen the questions. My students, we've talked about them. I think it was pretty fair. Most of my kids said it was very, very fair. And I've heard a lot of them say like, oh, it was so easy, guys. It, it wasn't easy and it was not difficult. You were either prepared or you weren't prepared. The kids that were prepared thought it was a layup. I talked to kids that thought it was impossible and they got the hard question. Now they didn't get a hard question. They got a question that you were not prepared for. So don't ever say like you got an easy test or a hard test. There was no harder questions. They were all AP Physics 1 questions. There were none that were tricky that I saw. If you've seen somewhere else where these are not like secure questions and then I can talk about them. If somebody's talking about them publicly, let me know and I'll release the solutions. I already have the videos made. They will be put out. I promise. Stick with me a little bit. Just give me a little bit of time until they're secure. I take the college board security pretty, pretty seriously, but I will get those out to you and we'll discuss them. Like I said, it was fair. Was it easy or difficult? It was fair. And a lot of you guys that have been watching, most of you were pretty prepared. And the questions were based on a lot of the things that we talked about and practice. So good for you. If you got on here early, you started studying, you started doing review, you just asked me a ton of questions. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you got a very, very good score if you did the things that you were supposed to do, even for a week leading up to the exam. And the awesome comments that I've gotten from you guys, it's it's really awesome. I don't do it for the thank you. I do it so that you can learn. But when I do get the thank you, you know, that means the world to me. So many students reaching out and say that they think they did a little better because of some of the videos that we did here. Guys, that means the freaking world to me. Thank you for not unsubbing right away. I know that would be very for easy for you to do. Like physics is over. Like if you can say subbed, you know, put me on mute or whatever, but sub count helps other people know that what I gave was quality content. It's, it's all those vanity numbers and people look and see. So I want to be able to help kids in the future. So tell your AP Physics 1 friends for next year or stick with me in AP Physics 2 or the SAT 2. Thank you for not unsubbing. That's all I want to say. And thank you for the awesome comments that I've gotten so far. So that's definitely in the next videos I'm going to be posting. I'm going to be posting the solutions to those as soon as they become insecure and as soon as I can post them and the College Board doesn't have a problem with it like previous years, I'm going to do that. But also what's next in the future? Well, you can stick with the channel and still get a lot of value out of it. If you're taking math, you might have seen my wife. She teaches every high school level math up into calculus. So you can stick with us if you're going to be taking math next year. She's going to be posting a ton of content just like this. She's teaching Calc AB, NBC next year. So you're going to get a lot of content there. Next year, I'm going to be posting AP Physics C content as well as AP Physics 2 content. So maybe you're going to be taking a different AP. And also, I'm going to focus heavily on the SAT2, the subject physics exam. They pretty much have a subject exam every single month from now until the end of the year. The next one is in August. I don't know if it's gonna be canceled. It may or may not. But the thing with that exam is you have not learned everything you need for that exam in AP Physics 1. So what I'm gonna do over the next couple weeks is I'm gonna start posting videos on thermodynamics, on optics, on capacitance, on other things that are on the exam that you have not learned in AP Physics 1. So if you're interested in the SAT 2, Definitely stick with me. That's what we're going to focus on between now and August before school starts again. Maybe physics isn't for you and some of you know or don't know, I have another YouTube channel which talks about personal finance. i got like over 10,000 subscribers. So if you don't care about physics but you care about investing and getting wealthy, I'll leave a link to that channel. Maybe you want to go over there and follow me over there and we don't have to talk about physics ever again. We could talk about money. I know for most of us we had a pretty short time together. I definitely recognize names in the comments coming up 
over and over again. Like I said, I appreciate you, not just as viewers, but as students that wanted to learn and wanted to do the best you could, even if physics is not in your future. You did well, you did what you were supposed to do, and I hope that you'll stick around and we get more content, whether it's in math or physics in the future. If not, good luck to you. I enjoyed the time we spent together. Until I see you on the next one, guys, stay positive, work really, really hard, and always be kind to other people. I hope you have yourself an amazing day and an even better tomorrow.